Hello, and welcome back to the worst possible commander show. It's me, it's CGB, or should I say, Gandalf the Grey. And we're here to play our first game with Tales of Middle Earth cards from the Lord of the Rings. So we are celebrating in a festive way by getting a little bit dressed up and playing a little bit of a character today. And well, we're going to go around the table. These are my friends. This is, what is this? Ben? Ben. Ben! Ben! <laughs> Wake up! Who the hell are you? <laughs> I'm Treebeard. <laughs> and Blake? Blake? Mm -hmm. Is it Blake? Yes, it's Blake. Well, uh, 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 what are you? I'm, I'm a hobbit. I'm Frodo. And bless my beard. <laughs> 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 and bless my beard. Who is this mythical creature across from me? Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's Shay, also known as Arwen today. Today's show is sponsored by CoolStuffInc.com. Please use the promo code WORST, and you can get yourself a discount at CoolStuffInc.com. For our rule zero, we go around the table and talk about the worst possible thing our decks can do to each other. And, well, I'm playing Sauron, the Dark Lord. I am the worst, that's it. <laughs> I'm the worst possible thing I can do to all of you. But uh, Sauron says many words. It's Grixis color 7-6 with ward. You have to sacrifice a legendary artifact or a legendary creature just to target him. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, I mass orcs one. And whenever an army you control deals combat damage to a player, the ring tempts you. Do not tempt me. Frodo. Anyway, whenever the ring tempts you, you may discard your hand, and if you do, you draw four cards. Outside from the other worst things, just being the worst, I may cast Rise of the Dark Realms or Breach of the Multiverse, take all of your creatures, and make you succumb to my orc armies and dead armies. So, that's me. Tree Beard. What are you playing and what is the worst possible thing you can do to us? Yes, I'm playing my hobbit friends today, Sam and Frodo, their partners. Um, at the beginning of my combat phase, if Sam is out, I make a food token. And activating foods I control costs one less to activate. And if I have Frodo on the field as well, he has vigilance. When he attacks, if I gain three or more life this turn, the ring tempts me. And then if Frodo, the ring bearer, is still tempted, I... <laughs> and if the, if the ring has tempted me two or more times this game, I draw a card. And my worst possible is hopefully, if I have Academy Manufacturer out, I think we've seen him before, um, I get to make f clues and treasures when food enters. And then I can sack all my artifacts to hopefully hit some people with Marionette Master by its ability and kill you all. Okay, Blake, what are you playing? And what is the worst possible thing you'll do to us? So I'm actually playing Gandalf the Grey, which is a five mana, three, four, and is it? And whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, choose one that hasn't been chosen. I'm trying to decide if I should actually go back and do a voice. I'm actually playing Gandalf the Grey. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, choose one that hasn't been chosen. You may tap or untap target permanent. Gandalf the Grey deals three damage to each opponent. Copy target instant or sorcery spell you control. You may choose new targets for the copy, and then finally put Gandalf on top of its owner's library. However, I have Displacer Kitten in my deck, which means if I have that out, I basically get to choose whichever of Gandalf's abilities I want every time I cast a spell, so long as I actually blink Gandalf with Displacer Kitten. My other worst possible is actually Display of Power. So this is a new card in Lord of the Rings and says, uh, this spell can't be copied. Copy any number of target instant and or sorcery spells. You may choose new targets for the copies. So what I plan to do is put a bunch of things on the stack holding priority and copy all of them at once and get a whole bunch of spells, wizard. All right, Shay or Arwen, what is your commander? And what is the worst, what is the worst possible thing you're going to do to us? 
Yeah, so today I am playing Eowyn, Shield Maiden, because hashtag women rule. Uh, she's a 5-4 human knight that costs two and Jeskai. Uh, she's got first strike, and she says, at the beginning of combat on your turn, if another human entered the battlefield under your control this turn, create two 2-2 two, two red human knight creature tokens with trample and haste. Then, if you control six or more humans, draw a card. So as you might imagine, the deck is all about playing as many humans as possible, just creating a human army. And for my worst possible, we've got a Chrome's Will. You know it. Mm. You love it. One called CGB told me of a Chroma's will. Mm -hmm. I bet he did. Mm. I bet he did. Uh, but that in combination with something like Cathar's Crusade, which uh, says whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a 1-1 counter on each creature you control. Um, that's going to be epic. That would be an epic punch. Uh, yes, that looks like a great many creatures entering the battlefield. Seems like a very uh, Shay type of thing to do. All right. We've introduced our commanders. We've introduced the worst possible things we can do to each other. It's time to dive in. Let the Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle-earth nonsense begin. All right, Ben, you've won the die roll, so take it away. Okay, I'll draw for turn. Play a godless shrine tapped and pass. All right, I will draw. I will play island, and I'm gonna cast a ponder. What a wizard. I... <laughs> Just hold up, pondering already. All right, I will not shuffle, and I will draw for turn, or draw from ponder, and pass to Shay. All right. Shay a win. <laughs> How long have you been holding that for me? About 0. 0.2 seconds. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't hold on to thoughts very long. Oh, okay. <laughs> Shea in the fair. <laughs> Take your turn. All right, I will draw for turn. I'm going to play a prairie stream. It's going to enter tapped, and then I will pass. All right, draw. Bloodstained Mire, and I will crack it and sack it. I'm going to get the Xander's Lounge, the Grixis Triland, and it's your turn, Ben. I'll untap, draw for a turn, play a Sun Petal Grove, tap two for a Prosperous Innkeeper. I'll make a treasure. There's that Xander's Lounge. Made a treasure token, and then it's your turn, Blake. All right, I will untap. I'm gonna play a mountain, I'm gonna pass. Oh, okay, I'll draw for turn. I'll play a mountain. Tap two for Talisman of Conviction. Then I'll pass the turn. All right, we untap, we draw. A mountain and a Talisman of Indulgence. Your turn. I'll untap, draw for turn. Play an underground, undergrowth stadium, sorry. Tap three and play Sam, a loyal attendant. To begin awesome. my combat, I make a food token. And I'll gain one life from Prosperous Innkeeper. Okay, I'll go to combat and I'll make a food token. It begins. Ooh. Who's getting the wrath of the innkeeper? I think the Dark Lord. <laughs> yeah, it's his about a scratch. And I will pass you, Blake. All right, I will draw. All right, I'm going to play an island. I'm going to cast a Spellseeker. Mm -hmm. All right. I got an express iteration, because I like drawing cards. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pass to Shay. All right, untap. Draw. I'm going to play a Steam Vents tapped. And then I will tap two for a Talisman of Progress. Pass the turn. Untap, draw. All right, uh, black mana from the talisman, so I will go to 37. Blue mana from the lounge, Baleful Strix. Flying 1-1 one, one Death Touch, I will draw a card. I will play a Rakdos Carnarium, tapped, and I'll return this mountain to my hand, and then I'm done. I'll untap, draw for turn, play a Tireless Tracker. 
So tireless. So tracker. Play a swamp. I made a clue from playing that swamp. I'll sacrifice my treasure for a green and tap my swamp for Myriadoc Brandy Buck. <laughs> Whenever one or more halflings you control attack a player, create a food token. And I'll gain one life from Prosperous Innkeeper. Going to 42. I also should have gained one from Tyler's Tracker, so I'll do that now to 43. Well, Sam's a little hungry, so is a Prosperous Innkeeper. Coming at Shay for three. <gasps> And when they attack, I will make a second food. I'll take three. Then it, your, it is your turn, Blake. <laughs> Thanks, tree beard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna cast that expressive iteration. I'm gonna put this card into my hand. I'm gonna put this card on the bottom. And then I'm gonna exile Baral, Chief of Compliance. I will play Island, and I will tap two to cast Baral, Chief of Compliance. Mm. No, we hate it. <laughs> <laughs> that pass. Okay. Untap. Draw. Play an island. Then I will pay five to cast Aowen Shield Maiden. Burm, 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 burm. And that's my turn. Burm, 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 burm. All right. Untap and draw for turn. I'll replay that mountain and we'll tap four and I will play sad robot and go find a basic island. And after that, Strix will stay home. Ben, your turn. All right, I'll untap. Play an overgrown farmland. This is my land for turn. I will make another clue. I'll play a doubling season. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is a Ben tactic if ever I've heard one. Huh. I will move to combat, triggering Sam. Because of doubling season, I'll create two more food tokens, up to four. Hey, Shay. Hmm. Do you mind if this little innkeeper just hits you a little bit? Like a nudge on the shoulder, you know? Like one damage? Yeah. And so what happens when? I'll just make a food. I could one even food? give it to you, you know? One food? <laughs> not one food? Not, well, I'd make two, but. <laughs> That's double. <laughs> Um, what, what would make it worth it for me? That's a legitimate question, Ben. <laughs> I won't attack you next turn. Okay. Okay. I'll attack. Prosperous Innkeeper at Shay, Sam Loyal Attendant at Blake, and Meridoc Brandy Buck at CGB. Uh, okay, so you have attack triggers. Yes, because I attacked each of you, I will make three food token, but because of doubling season, I'll make six. Okay. Going up to 10 food tokens. Cool. What is it going to do with all this food? All right, uh, blocks over here? Yeah, I will block Sam with my Baral. Two, four against one, three. Uh, no blocks. I'm going to block with my Solemn Simulacrum. All right. Before damage. Ooh. I am going to cast Malachar Rebirth, targeting Solemn Simulacrum. So I lose two life, and until end of turn when this dies, it comes back to the battlefield tapped. And Solemn will die, which I draw a card, and then Solemn returns tapped, and I fetch a land. Then Myriadoc Brandy Buck also dies. That's it for my turn. Your turn, Blake. All right, I'm going to untap over my vegetables, draw for turn. Going to play an island. I'm going to overload a Vandal Blast. No! Oh no. my god! Whoa. Play. I was gonna do something <laughs> with that. I was gonna eat that food well, next yeah, turn. Well, yeah, I was gonna eat it too. That's first, second, and third breakfast. All that <laughs> oh. food gone. I will uh, draw a card from the sad robot. I'm gonna pass my turn. All right, I'll untap. Draw. Tapping four, I'm gonna cast Faramir, Prince of Athelion. Aww. Oh, There's yes. A dunes, a couple. Uh, so it says at the beginning of your end step, choose an opponent. At the beginning of that player's next end step, you draw a card if they didn't attack you that turn. Otherwise, create three one one white human soldier creature tokens. Yes, and so with that, I will move to combat, and as I do, I have an Aowen trigger. Another human has entered, so I will get two 2-2 two, two red human knight creature tokens. Cool, so I've got my two 
humans that are also rebels in this instance. Uh, and they have Trample and Haste. I will attack Blake with Eowyn and one of my humans. Little old me? Yeah. I will block your 2-2 two -two with my 1-3, and I will block your 5-4 with my 1-1. One -one. Sounds good to me. All right, now I'm going to move to my end step, and I've got a Faramir trigger here. I'm going to choose Ben, because we made a deal, and I would Ben's like to draw a card. Oh, wow. That's not even risking oh, that I might have a haste creature. That's slick. Nice. <laughs> um, all right, and I'll pass to you, CGB. Untap, draw. All right, let's start this turn off on a high note. I'm going to play a Curse of Opulence, which enchants another player. And whenever that player is attacked, create a gold token. And each opponent that attacks that player does the same. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, I see you over there. I see you. Curse. That didn't curse work at you. All. <laughs> curse you, Blake. I've been cursed. I've always wanted to curse you. Oh my god. <laughs> I will tap three, and let's cast the first of the nine. It's the Nazgul. <laughs> this is a one-two with death touch, and when it enters the battlefield, the ring tempts me. Whenever the ring tempts me, put a plus one, plus one counter on each wraith you control, and I can have up to nine cards named Nazgul in my deck. I can do it without cheating. All right, so this is going to be our first time being tempted by the ring at the table. So what happens is I get this and I, like, it's like opening a dungeon, but I get the ring. It is a thing that exists here. And it's, the first thing says your ring bearer is legendary. So I can't play more of the nine unless I'm gonna actually legend rule it. And it can't be blocked by creatures with greater power. So I am going to make this Nazgul my ring bearer. All right, my Nazgul has the ring. <gasps> and gets a plus one, plus one counter from being tempted. I will play Is It Boilerworks, and you'll appreciate this, Blake. I'm gonna return the Xander's Lounge to my hand. Ooh. All right, Ben, your turn. Okay, I'll untap for turn, play a Swamp for turn. I'll make a clue token. Actually make that two clue tokens. I'm gonna tap six for a Marionette Master. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Uh, all right, so that has Fabricate. Are you going to make the one ones or the plus one plus one counters? I will fabricate the 1-1 one, one counters on the Marionette Master, giving it six counters. And because of Marionette Master coming in, Prosperous Innkeeper heals me by one. I'll move to combat. I'll make a food token, but because of doubling season, it will make two food tokens. I'm just going to attack the Hobbit with the Hobbit. 2-4, coming at you, Blake. Sam! <laughs> and when he attacks, I'll make a gold token. But wait, there's more. I'll make two gold tokens. All right. Um, wow, this curse is incredible. <laughs> I'm going to just block. We'll just bounce. Boing. Boing. I also get a gold token. That's right, but I only get one. Your turn, Blake. <laughs> On your end step, Ben, I have a Faramir trigger. I will draw a card because you did not attack me. As per our deal. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, I will untap. All right, I'm gonna play a Sheevan Reef, and I'm gonna tap five for Gandalf. Can I attack myself and <laughs> get a cold token? <laughs> I'm just gonna pass on that. All right, I'll untap, play Command Tower. Then I'll pay four for Eowyn, Fearless Knight. Whoa. Eowyn's with the Eowyn's. Yes, more Eowyn. Um, so of course, she's a human. It's got haste. When Aowen Fearless Knight enters the battlefield, exile target creature and opponent controls with greater power. Legendary creatures you control gain protection from each of that creature's colors until end of turn. I think the marionette is a good target. I, it's, it's a very convincing target for sure. On the stack, I will sacrifice two gold tokens I'll float, let's say, a blue and a blue. Good choices. <laughs> uh, Mary Nutmaster, the first seven damage is gonna go to Shay's face. That makes sense. The second seven will go to Shay's face. <gasps> Dang! With one of the floating blue mana, I will sacrifice a food for only one because of Sam. I will gain three life. And? And 
It'll go to Blake's face. My face? With the other blue floating, I will sack another food. Gain three life. Up to 50. And the last trigger will go to CGB's face, the Dark Lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, CGB is not oh, face. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, yeah. Find the face, face is gone. <laughs> okay, I'll take my seven as well. Not interested in making friends, are we, Ben? No, no. The hobbits must win. Okay, marrying that master. Exiled. I hope you all appreciate my life total sacrifice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> me do appreciate it. <laughs> Um, also, uh, all my legendary creatures have protection from black until end of turn. It's irrelevant. No big deal. <laughs> it's fine. This is fine. This is fine. All right, I'm going to move to combat, and when I do, I have an AO win trigger. Um, before you go to combat, <gasps> a removal spell is never late. Oh my. It arrives my. precisely when it means to. What? Wow. I'm going to pay a blue, or pay, pay a life to make a blue mana. And I'm going to cast Reality Shift, targeting Eowyn, and that's going to give me a Gandalf trigger. Whoa, 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 whoa. Which Eowyn? Oh yeah, my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, the scarier this? one, that one. And this is before oh, we enter combat because yes. of the trigger? Yes. Understood. Yep. Mm. Um, I have a Gandalf trigger, but I don't think I want to use the copy. So I'm actually just going to use the tap ability to tap uh, Eowyn. The other Eowyn. <laughs> <laughs> That's so confusing. Uh, okay, so... That gets exiled, uh, and then you manifest the top card of your library. And then the other Eowyn is tapped. All right. Um, I'm going to choose, actually, to keep all my friends at home. No, no attacks. Shay, because you so valiantly sacrificed so much life, to attack Ben's marionette master, and then I proceeded to tap all your scary creatures. Yeah. I will not block one of your humans. You can get your Curse of Obulence trigger as a repayment. <gasps> really? No, I lied to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm totally. just suspicious. I'm no. suspicious. Honorable Hobbit. I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to be. Okay, all right. I don't want to be the bad guy, I'm Gandalf. I will send a 2 2 human to Blake. I will. <laughs> 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 so, uh, before you get a chance to betray her, Curse of Opulence will trigger, and Shay and I will each get a gold token. Yes. And I, well, I guess I can block, right? It's not about dealing damage. But the deal was I wouldn't. Yes. I'll take two. <laughs> uh, then I'll move to my end step, and I've got a Faramir trigger, which means I get to choose an opponent. I think I'm going to choose Ben again. Uh, then pass to you, CGB. All right, let's untap. Let's draw. I am going to play the next Nazgul, the next member of the Nine, and even though one of my Nazguls is currently Ring Bearer and is legendary, this Nazgul is not legendary, so I get to keep both. When this enters the battlefield, the ring tempts me, so we're going to move to the ability that whenever the Ring Bearer attacks, I draw a card and then discard a card. And when this enters the battlefield, or I guess when the ring tempts me, I put a plus one, plus one counter on each Wraith I control. All right, I'm going to tap four, and here comes Whip of Erebos. Mm -hmm. Creatures I control have lifelink, and for four and a tap at sorcery speed, I can return a creature from graveyard to the battlefield. It gains haste, I exile it at my end step. I will move to combat, and I'm going to attack Blake, the cursed one, with the Nazgul, who is my ring bearer. All right, uh, I will draw discard because of the ring. I'm going to discard this Oliphant, a 6-4 trample that I really just put in the deck to Mountain Cycle, but looks really cool with a Whip of Erebos. And I will make a gold token because of Curse of Opulence. No blocks. All right, that is three points of damage for you. And I will gain three because of Lifelink from Whip of Erebos. And I'm going to, I'm gonna let you down. I'm gonna play the Xander's Lounge tapped. <laughs> and I'm gonna pass the turn to Ben. <laughs> I'll untap. Here comes Frodo. Sam, your friend's here. Here, I'll put him next to you. There you go. <laughs> Our hero has arrived. What does he do? He has vigilance. He's a 1-3. Whenever Frodo Adventurous Hobbit attacks, if you gain three or more life this turn, the ring tempts you. Then if Frodo is your ring bearer and the ring tempted you two or more times this game, draw a card. I will gain a life from Prosperous Innkeeper, though. 
I'll play an Overgrown Tomb tapped. I will make two clue tokens. Going to four. All right, I'll go to combat. And at combat, I'll make two food tokens because of doubling season. Then are you ever up full? I'm never full. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I can eat dude. any time of the day or night. I, dude, you I'm sleeping. Me. Just feed me. Dude. <laughs> Blake, I'm going to attack you with the Tireless Tracker. All right. That's going to trigger Curse of Opulence. So I will get another gold token. And uh, Ben, you get a gold token. Uh, let's just use a treasure because it's functionally the same since all our gold tokens are claimed. Don't have to tap it, guys. Blocks, Ben. Uh, thanks, Ben. <laughs> Uh, no blocks. No blocks. No. What am I blocking with? Before damage, I'll sacrifice a clue down to three by tapping these two. Let me get that for you, Ben. Oh, thanks. And because of doubling season, my Tyler Tracker will get two counters instead of one. And I'll draw a card from the clue. Then right. combat damage resolves. And I will take five. My second main, I'll tap my last two mana and sacrifice one tr gold, and I'll play a Kadama's Reach. Ramp. Ramp, ramp. That, that's just some good honest ramp. That, that makes yeah. me feel a little better. Yeah. 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 Right, with the Kadama's Reach, I got a Plains and a Forest. I'll put the Forest on a battlefield tapped and the Plains in my hand. All right, with the Forest entering, the tracker will make two clues, up to five. And it'll be your turn, Blake. All right. On your end step, Ben, I've got a Faramir trigger. You did not attack me, so I will draw a card. You're welcome. Cool, thanks. I will draw for turn. I'll play a card I'm interested in seeing in this deck, which is Riptide Laboratory. Let's me return Gandalf to my hand. I'm just super flooded, so I'm gonna pass. Uh-huh. Because of the flood. Uh-huh. Yeah, Says the is it player. All right, I will untap. I'm gonna pay seven to cast Eowyn again. She's back. Burm, 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 burm. All right, I'm gonna move to combat and I am gonna attack Ben with Eowyn, Fearless Knight, and Faramir, Prince of Thillion. Defend yourself, Hobbit. Nah, we eat so much, we don't need to defend ourselves. I'll take six. Okay, well then I'm gonna go ahead and move to my end step and I've got a Faramir trigger. <laughs> we'll choose Ben again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just never attack you, Shay. Why don't we do that? Uh, pass to you, CGB. Untap. And we draw. Move to combat. I am going to send the 3 4 ring bearing Nazgul at Ben and the 2 3 non ring bearing Nazgul at Blake. On attacks, I will draw and discard because of my ring bearer. And I will discard a smoldering marsh. No blocks for me. No blocks. Okay, I will gain five because of lifelink, and Blake, you'll take two, and Ben, you will take three. All right, tapping four, then five, and six. Oh, I actually have a Curse of Opulence trigger really quick that I have to remember. I'm going to go up to five gold. So, yep. tapping six, Liliana, Dreadhorde General. Friend of the Sauron. Hmm. Absolutely. So now whenever a creature I control dies, uh, draw a card. I'm going to minus four Liliana, so everybody has to sacrifice two creatures. I have a response. I'll sacrifice this gold to activate one of my food. Going down to one food, I'll gain three life. Blake, any response? Yes. I had a feeling. Um, I'm going to target an abraid on your whip of Erebos. Okay. And then I'm going to use Gandalf's trigger and I am going to copy it. I have to choose destroy target artifact again, unfortunately. Yep. Uh, I will destroy a clue token. Oh man, I only have four now, I know. jeez. Okay, and Whip of Erebos will be destroyed. Any other responses? Yep, I'm going to Riptide Gandalf back to my hand. Shay, any responses to the Liliana minus two? No responses. Okay, it's time to sacrifice creatures, two creatures each. Okay, I have draw triggers from Lili Liliana. There are two of them on the stack, but I'm going to do something first. I am going to respond to those draw triggers going on the stack by using one gold, because I have a Rakdos Canarium, and then three others, and I'm going to cast Blood for the Blood God. It costs one less for each creature that died this turn, so it's seven less. 
and it reads, discard my hand, then draw eight cards, and this deals eight damage to each opponent. And there's still two draw triggers from Liliana on the stack that hopefully will resolve after this does. Well, this is for you guys. Somebody's got to defend against the Dark Lord, even if it just turns their no, next turn you off. You don't have to. You don't have to. <clears throat> da, 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 da. Pact of Negation. Oh, Pact of Negation? <gasps> okay. Now that's just mean. I thought you'd be, I thought you'd approve. I did approve until you were going to draw eight cards. <laughs> yep, it's countered. It's countered. Anyway, I want you to watch as I draw these two cards That's from Liliana cool, Dreadhorde General. <laughs> All right, I mean, since that didn't happen and I was really counting on it and I really want Liliana to live, I've got to do this. The gold, damnation. <laughs> Everything else destroyed and can't be regenerated. Yeah, no response. All right, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> okay, then I'm done. That was it. That was me, that was me doing the things. Okay. I'll untap. Sam's coming back out. More food. More food. <laughs> food. I'll go to combat. I'll make two food. Your turn, Blake. All right. I will untap. On my upkeep, <laughs> I will, in fact, pay five Probably to live. A good idea. Yeah. Cool. I will pay two. I drew something I could cast Firebrand Archer. So this is similar to like an extra electrostatic field. Whenever I cast a non-creature spell, it just pings everybody for one. And then I'm gonna pass to Shay. So I'm using my gold for nine mana because we ride or die for Aowen in this house. <laughs> We're casting her again. She's back. <laughs> Welcome back. <clears throat> she is back. And then I'll pass to CGB. Yeah, I'm gonna untap really quick and make sure I activate this Liliana because no At one's gonna stop upkeep. me, right? At your upkeep. Damn it, Ben, don't let three. me have this. And Mythos of Netheroi, your Liliana. I knew it. I knew he was going to do that. Yep, she's she's dead. She's dead. My damnation was for nothing. All right, draw for turn. Feel the sadness. Yes, feel it. All right, we're going to play a Witch's Clinic, which can give my commander lifelink. Do not speak his name, or he may appear. Here is Sauron, the Dark Lord. So whenever an opponent casts a spell, I amass orcs one. Whenever an army deals combat damage to a player, the ring tempts me. <laughs> and whenever the ring tempts me, I may discard my hand and draw four cards. Whoa. Wow. I will tap one for a bag of holding, which is really fun when I have to discard my hand to the Dark oh, Lord. Ho, ho. Look at that technology. Mm. I will tap two for Call of the Ring. This is an enchantment that says at the beginning of your upkeep, the ring tempts you. Whenever I choose a creature as my ring bearer, I can pay two life if I do. I draw a card. And Ben, go ahead. You guys all had this coming. At your end step, I'm going to tap my swamp and sacrifice one food to gain three life. Okay. Then I'll go to my turn, untap, play a black market connections. All right, that will amass orcs one. I don't have an orc army, but I have a zombie army. We're just going to treat it as our orc army for today. Happen four for Frodo. He's back. All right, that will amass orcs again. I'll go to combat. I'll make two food tokens from Sam Gamgee, or Sam Loyal Attendant and Doubling Season. Up Did to four. You know, he loves you so much, Blake. He just wants your food. All right, so you attack Blake, so Curse of Opulence will trigger. I will make a gold, and you will make two. No blocks. <laughs> okay. And I will pass to you, Blake. All right, you guys ready for a sick turn? Where I don't have to pay for Pact of Negation? <laughs> uh, I'm a little afraid, but yes. Yeah. He has returned. I'm gonna pass. All right, I'll untap. Draw. Begin with a Scalding Tarn. I'm gonna sacrifice it, pay a life. Go grab Islander Mountain. Um, all right, I grabbed a Sacred Foundry. It's gonna enter tapped. Then I'll pay two for a Copper Coat Vanguard. Each other human you control gets plus one, plus oh, and has ward one. Uh-oh. Then I shall also pay three for Loran of the Third Path. Uh, so yeah, when Loran of the Third Path enters, destroy up to one target artifact or enchantment. I am gonna choose Call of the Ring. Yeah, I would do that too. <laughs> Call of the Ring is destroyed. Yes. But not the ring. Just the call of the ring. <laughs> Just the call of the ring. 
Uh, okay, I'm gonna move to combat, and then I've got an AoN trigger. Another human did indeed enter the battlefield, so I'll get two 2-2 two, two red human knights. All right, moving to combat. I'm gonna send AoN and my two humans to Ben. Ride or die. Ah, no blocks. Whoa. Okay, so that's 12 damage. All right, 12 it is, down to 36. Okay, that's everything for me. I'll pass the turn. All right, let's untap. All right, I'll play this swamp and I'll tap three. And I think I think Blake doesn't need to be lonely anymore. I'm going to curse Ben with the curse of verbosity. <laughs> Whenever enchanted player is attacked, you draw a card and each opponent that does that does the same. I don't like that. I want to draw a card. No, I only have two. You, you've got clues. Oh, that's true. And gold tokens. And black market connections. Yeah. And life. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you have all these things. That said, I still really want that gold token as well. So I'm going to move to combat, and Soren the Dark Lord is going to attack Blake, and the zombie army, currently a 5-5, five five, is going to attack Ben. So there should be two triggers. I will draw for each one curse, and I will make a gold token for the other. Uh, no blocks for me. None for me. I'll take five. Oh. And you will take seven commander, but Bro. first, I'm going to activate the Witch's Clinic to give Sauron lifelink. Nice. <gasps> so I will gain seven commander, oh. if that's a thing. All right, when a zombie army deals combat damage to an opponent, the ring tempts me. And whenever the ring tempts me, I may discard my hand, and if I do, I draw four cards. So. When the ring tempts me, it moves to the third level, which is when it becomes blocked by a creature, that creature's controller sacrifices it at the end of combat. I think the Dark Lord should be my ring bearer. I think that's just appropriate right now. Oh yep. God. And I am going to choose to discard my hand to draw four. But with that trigger on the stack, I'm going to pay three, and I'm going to channel Otawara Soaring City. When, and that means I get to return a permanent to the owner's hand. Well, it, it has to be in an artifact, in creature, enchantment, or planeswalker. I am going to return Lauren of the Third Path to Shay's hand. I'm, I'm very cool with that. Now, I channeled this, so it's actually going to be exiled under Bag of hold, Holding because it says whenever I discard a card, I exile it uh, from my graveyard. And now I draw four cards from Soren. I will tap two and we'll play a Demir Signet. After that, it's your turn, Ben. All right. We'll untap. Yeah, I'm gonna go big and pay six. The full send. Oh man, how'd I get so low? <laughs> All right. Because of doubling season, I'll make two shapeshifters, two treasures, and I'll draw only one card. My wish was granted, everyone. Academy Manufacturer. Oh no! Um, <laughs> Make it stop. Um, I will amass one orc. Five, four green. Feasting Troll King. Dear Lord. <laughs> Vigilance, travel, in case people at home don't know from Throne of Eldrain. When it enters the battlefield, if you cast it from your hand, create three tr food tokens. But. Because of Academy Manufacturer, I get three food, three treasure, and three clues. Well, because of doubling season, do you get six of each? You do! Oh my god, I do. <laughs> nice, nice, Brutal. Blake. Well, I amass one orcs. Oh, so wow. Yeah, there you go. Cool, that. CGB. Cool, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to brag. You go up to eight treasures, and ten food, and ten clues. I'll tap one and sack one food. Going down to nine to gain three life. I'll go to combat. I'll make two food tokens, but I'll also make two treasure tokens and two clue tokens. Ooh, man. 12 clue, 11 food, 10 treasures. Arena is crashing. Yeah, yeah right. I will swing Frodo because he cannot be blocked Blake's way. And Sam at CGB for two. So you said he can't be blocked, but right now he can be, but now the ring tempts you because you gain three life this turn. So if you make Frodo your ring bearer, he can't be blocked is what yes, you mean. Yes, that is what I mean. And he shall be my ring bearer. Unblocks anyone? 
Well, I can't block, so no. <laughs> yeah, also can't block. Thanks. Okay. okay. Thanks. Uh, Take your one gold uh, from Curse uh, of yes. Opulence. I'll make two more gold, and I will make one. Unfortunately, does not syn- synthesize with Academy Manufacturer. Because not treasures. Not treasures. Synthesize. Gold. I will take one. All right. I will take two from Sam, also commander. Your turn, Blake. I will untap. I will draw for turn. All right. I will start by floating three blue mana. And then I'm going to spend this additional mana. And I'm going to cast a Frantic Search. This is going to trigger Firebrand, Archer, and Gandalf the Grey. Everyone's going to take one damage. Uh huh. And then I will use Gandalf to actually copy it. So I'm going to resolve my copied frantic search. So I'm going to draw two. I'm going to amass an orc. Yeah, that orc's going to get a massive. All right, I will discard two <clears throat> and untap three lands. I'll then do it again. Draw two. I will discard two and untap three lands. I will play command tower for turn. I'm then going to tap one, two, three. Three mana and spend my three floating, and I'm gonna pull from tomorrow for X equals four. Uh, this is gonna deal one damage to everybody. I will use Gandalf the Grey to untap Sheevan Reef. I'll then resolve my pull from tomorrow. I will draw one, two, three, four cards. I will amass an orc. I will discard a mountain to pull from tomorrow. We're gonna go one, two, three. And I'm gonna cast a Jessica's Will. How many cards do you have in your hand, CGB? I got two. You got like a bajillion though, right? Four. That is not a bajillion. (laughs) (laughs) I will make four mana. Uh, Everyone will take four damage because Firebrand Archer plus Gandalf the Grey. So it's each opponent, huh? Yeah. Okay, four damage. And then I will exile top three. I can play them until end of turn. Sulphur Falls, Odawara, and Primal Amulet. Nice. There, you got your four. I get to amass an org. We're gonna spend two red mana and a blue mana, and I'm gonna cast to solve the equation. This is gonna deal one damage to each opponent. That's you guys. Yep. Hmm. And then Gandalf the Grey will go on top of my deck. Unfortunately, because I'm about to shuffle, I'm actually gonna put it back into the command zone. Okay. And that's uh, your second commander tax moment? Nope, first. I returned it to hand in response. Oh, you're right, okay. I will amass an orc. All right. With my solve the equation, I gotta commit memory. Ooh, okay. And then with my two mana here and these two, I'm going to actually cast my commit. Okay, I will use commit. I'm gonna target Feasting Troll King and I'm gonna hope that my compadres can finish Ben before he untaps with all those spookies. Such classic Ben being this scary. Second. Uh, Did everyone take one from Firebrand Archer? I don't remember taking one from the commit. Not from the commit. Yep, so that's gonna be one damage to everybody. I will amass another orc. And then I'll move to combat. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, you get a card if you attack him. That (laughs) is totally throwing it all. Cards at any cost. Wow. Ben, I'm attacking you for two. Whoa. All right, we uh, we each draw a card. We each draw a card. Yeah. I'll block with an academy manufacturer. Okay. Before damage, since we're on a team now, Blake. What? what? Yeah, what? yeah. There's a, there's a greater evil out there. I'm gonna cast Curtain's Call. Now this is undaunted, so it costs one less for each opponent. So for three mana, I get to destroy two target creatures. Whoa. And I am going to destroy the Academy Manufacturer, and I'm also going to destroy... Shay, I'm gonna destroy the Vanguard. No, I'm not, we're working together. I am also gonna destroy one of the Shapeshifters, because it can block. Oh, yeah. Was that before or after blocks? That was after the block was declared so that your archer makes it. Appreciate you, buddy. All right, well, I'm going to move to the end of my turn where my poor Jessica's will cards go away forever. All right. Pay three for Loran of the third path. So that's going to amass me to 13 orc. Uh, So yes, when Loran enters, destroy up to one target artifact or enchantment. What do we say? Is it time to, to take out that doubling season? What? what? Who is that? You talk. Yes, you are in agreement. <laughs> I, that's what I was hoping you'd do. I'm going to target doubling season. Okay. Bye, doubling season. Next, I will pay four 
for Eomer. Marshall of Rohan. Your brother. Woo. It's your brother. Uh, so he's a 4-4 human knight with haste. Whenever one or more other attacking legendary creatures you control die, untap all creatures you control. After this phase, there is an additional combat phase. This ability triggers only once each turn. So don't kill her legendaries in combat, guys. Be very careful with your blocks. Uh, excellent. I am going to move to combat, and I've got an Aowen trigger, creating two tutus. And they got haste, and trample, and ward one, and plus one plus O. Oh. You bet. I mean, I think we're all on a team here, right? Well, not Ben. Well. I'm on my own team. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to attack Ben with Aowen, two humans, and Aomer. Oh, I'm going to throw on, sorry, two more humans because they have haste. I forgot. So Curse of Verbosity is going to trigger on the attack, so we each draw, Shay. Sweet. I will not block. <laughs> so after blocks, I guess. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I will sacrifice eight treasures for my... To sacrifice eight foods, so to gain twenty four life and lose twenty three, so and he'll lose twenty three. You're going to what? No, goes to twenty one. He gains one. Oh, life. okay. So I have three foods left and two treasures left, and because I took twenty three, I'll just gain one. Cool. And six of that was commander damage. Oh man, up to twelve on that. Yep, that's all for me. We're here. Mega army still intact. I uh, will tap one for a soul ring. Better late than never. Let's tap three and play Thief of Sanity because I thought it looked a little bit like a Nazgul. <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair. <laughs> All right, I'm going to combat and I am attacking Ben with Sora and the Dark Lord and the zombie army that is a 13-13. But before you start thinking about blocks, okay. <laughs> Curse of Verbosity will trigger, so I will draw a card. All right, Ben, we're going to blocks. You got any? I will block your beefy 1313 orc army with my shapeshifter. Okay, uh, that shapeshifter gonna die. And I am going to give Sauron, the Dark Lord, lifelink using Witch's Clinic. So you'll take seven commander and I will gain seven. All right, uh, I forgot my ring bearer attack trigger. I might've forgotten one earlier in the game too, but we're just gonna resolve this one. So I'm going to draw and then I'm going to discard a Nazgul that goes under the bag of holding. Go ahead. At your end step, CGB, I'm gonna sacrifice four gold to two clues to draw two cards. I will sacrifice the two treasures as well to draw one more card. Draw for turn. Black Market Connections will trigger. I will full send it. Again? Heck yeah. <laughs> All right, so doubling season is gone. You make oh, one yeah. shapeshifter. You get one, one treasure. treasure. One shapeshifter. Imagine playing just the regular Black Market Connections, not the crazy one. You also draw one card. And I draw one card. And I lose six. Going down to eight. Ooh. I like that. Yep. I'll cast the Feasting Troll King again. It's back. Mm-hmm. Make three more foods, up to six. Arcane Signet, better late than never. I am going to amass some orcs for the two spells you've cast this turn. Tap one for a Witch's Oven. Orcs. I will sacrifice a food. Hang one. Gaining three life. I'll move to combat, I'll make a food from Sam. Going back up to six. I'll attack Blake with Sam, and I'll attack Shay with Frodo. So when Frodo attacks, I'll move the ring down to two, and because I gained three or more life this turn, and I've been tempted twice, I will draw a card, and I will also draw and discard from the ring. And I'll discard a Shattered Sanctum, and I will also make a Curse of Opulence trigger, so I'll make a gold. All right. Yeah, I have no blocks for Sam. Um, and Frodo's a 1-3? One 1-3, three? One three, and it can't be blocked with uh, creatures with power greater than it. Okay, so no blocks for me. I also make a gold token because you made a gold token, Ben. All right, your turn, Blake. Looks like Ben's back on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. All right, I will draw for turn. 
All right, I'm going to start by tapping my Riptide Laboratory to play a Soul Ring better late than ever. A mass. So everyone's gonna take one to Firebrand. We're here to have fun, right? <laughs> Indeed. All right, I'm going to tap three mana and I'm gonna hold priority. And I'm gonna cast a Chaos Warp and I'm going to target your army. My army. Uh, okay, you're holding priority. Yep, while I have priority, I'm gonna spend a life because of Shivan Reef. And I'm gonna cast a display of power that also put a trigger from Firebrand on the stack. So there's two triggers from Firebrand Archer now because of the display of power. And this is gonna copy the Chaos Warp. So uh, first, everyone's gonna take a damage to my Firebrand Archer. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then this is gonna become a Chaos Warp and it is targeting, sorry, I should have said that before. Uh, I think we're gonna target the Feasting Troll King. Uh, I will amass my orcs as well <laughs> from the copy. <laughs> yeah, why not? Why not? And then my first cast warp on Feasting Troll King will resolve. In Unless response, he... I'll tap the Witch's Oven to sacrifice it to make two treasures. It's two food? Two food. Two food, sorry, yeah. Up to eight food now. All right. That will resolve, and then I have another Firebrand Archer trigger. Yep, uh, another one damage, and I amass orcs again. <gasps> and then your orcs get shuffled. Do they? Well, Arcane Denial that. But All right, I want, I, I have plans for this army. I know it doesn't have trample, but I've got plans for this army. <laughs> Gonna move to combat. Ben, give me that card. <laughs> Gonna attack Ben with my Firebrand <laughs> Archer. Into the fray. All right, Blake and I will draw. I'll block with Frodo. Yep. Nice. Frodo getting good some block, action. Good block, good block. Yep, yep. Island pass. Okay. On Shay's upkeep, I will draw one card. Blake will draw two from huh? Arcane Denial. See, wow. upside. Thanks for the upside, pal. Then I'll draw my card for turn. Moving to combat, I'm gonna send Eowyn to Ben. Along with two rebels. Two humans. Along with two humans. Then I'm gonna send two humans to CGB and Aomer to CGB as well. Oh, we do have a Curse of Verbosity trigger, so I will draw and Shay will draw. Cool beans. Okay, uh, I'm not blocking it. Come on. I will block Aowen with my shapeshifter. Gutsy. <laughs> uh, all right, that is gonna be everything for me. Passing the turn. On end step, I'm going to activate this bag of holding, so I'm going to draw and discard. And on discarding, I will exile this Rakdos Signet under the bag of holding. And then untap. Shotgun steam vents. Down to 24. All right, I would like to move to combat. And Blake, you've outlived your usefulness now that you're turning your eye to Sauron. So Sauron the Dark Lord is attacking Blake and the zombie army that's currently in 1919 is attacking Ben. Or what? And the Thief of Sanity is attacking Shay hmm. with a 2-2 flyer. Uh, so on attack, Curse of Opulence and Curse of Verbosity will trigger. So I will make a gold, I will draw a card and the Ring Bearer ability will trigger. So I will draw a card and then discard a card. I will discard a Tainted Isle that will get exiled under Bag of Holding. I will block with Frodo. Yeah, I have no blocks. Before damage, I'm gonna pongify your Thief of Sanity. The Thief of Sanity, huh? Ah, because you can't target the Soaring because of the ward. Yep, love these new ward costs. I see. Yep, yeah, uh, pongify does resolve on Thief of Sanity, but you did amass the orcs to a 2020. <sighs> All right, I do have a quick response to the Pongify though. I'm going to use Witch's Clinic to give Sora on the Dark Lord lifelink. Okay, I would like to respond to the activation of the Witch's Clinic. Okay. Ooh. I'm gonna try something tricksy. So I guess this is all still on the stack. See if it goes the way I hope. Uh, I would like to Chaos Warp target Sauron. Ooh, you got a ward cost to pay if you're gonna do that. I'm gonna sack Loran. Okay. Would you like to draw a card? before it perishes. That's a great idea, sure. Yeah, so Blake, you wanna draw a card? Oh, I do, actually. Okay. In response to the ward cost, you're activating Lauren. That is correct. Okay. We so both draw. We'll both draw. 
All right, so the Chaos Warp will make the army continue to amass <laughs> through yeah. 21. No big deal. Yep. Then Sora and the Dark Lord will get Chaos Warped. I'll choose to send to Command Zone. I no longer have a Ring Bearer. And I will do the Chaos Warp thing of flipping top card. Exciting. Shay, cut the deck. It's your <laughs> warp. There All you right. are. We flip. It's a Nazgul. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Awesome. Actually. Actually. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. All right. So that enters the battlefield. And then the ring tempts me, which levels up my ring to the last chapter. Whenever the ring bearer deals combat damage to a player, each opponent loses three life. Now, there's still a Pongify targeting Thief of Sanity, but I will give the ring to the zombie army. <laughs> Actually, no, I won't. I will give it to this Nazgul because, yeah, yeah, the, the other abilities are just better on this Nazgul. And, yep, plus one, plus one counter. Too bad Soren's not around to see that ring tempt me, so I could draw some cards. All right, um, so continuing the stack, Pongify hitting Thief of Sanity, creating an ape creature token. And Ben, Frodo is still under an ultra mega bus. Yep. Goodbye, Frodo. So it dies. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have no ring bearer as well to command with him. I'm deeply frustrated with all of you. Therefore, I'm gonna throw a tantrum and blasphemous act. That's no response. Good. No response? Mm-hmm. Okay. The zombie army will live. Sure yeah. will. Because it is exceptionally large. All right, to continue my little tantrum, I'm going to, I'm going to overload a vandal blast. Oh, ben. no. Yes. <laughs> no. Yes. Wait, that one affects me. Oh, does it? I will, in response, I'll sack a gold and a treasure to, oh no. No, I'll only Sam Well, I'll sack wise. both to make one food, uh -huh. and then I'll tap my arcane and my last land to have another food. All right, so you gain six life. I gain six life. Back up to eight, yeah. And say goodbye to all those food and all those clues. And my other artifacts. Yep, let's just get rid of the golds. Sora and the Dark Lord is back, and he's not happy. Yeah. <laughs> he is not impressed by your insolence. Your turn, Ben. Okay, I'll untap. And my pre-combat man phase, I'll... Eh? Hmm? <laughs> full send. Yeah, I'm gonna full send. <gasps> back down to two. I'll make a treasure, a shapeshifter, and draw a card. Nice. We've been here before. Yeah. <laughs> We're going in circles. I will damn your orc army. Damn. Okay. I will amass one, then the orc army will die a pitiful death. Whoa. Play a vault of champions for turn. Seven for Sam. Amass one orc. Mm. Mr. Frodo, I'm so <laughs> tired. Tap two to play a far seek. A mass two orc. While you're doing that, I'm just gonna fetch with my scalding tarn at the same time. All right, I got a mountain. Right, I got an Indantha Triome, which will enter tapped. I'll go to combat and make a food token. Then I'll pass my turn to Blake. All right, I forgot I was still playing. Let's go. <laughs> you guys are done for. You're still here. I know, I thought for sure I wasn't untapping. All right, I will draw for turn. All right, I'm gonna tap. Seven. Welcome back, pal. It's Gandalf. <laughs> a wizard is sometimes late, it turns out. Um, <sighs> wow. I'm gonna pass the turn. I will amass an orc from that Gandalf. All right, I will untap and draw. Guess who has enough to cast her commander again? Oh my god. No, you don't. Come on. <laughs> a ride or die in these. <laughs> 11 mana for Eowyn. She here. <laughs> she has returned. Uh, pass to you. I will use Bag of Holding to draw and discard a Talisman of Creativity under the back. All right, untap. Uh, also, I will amass from Eowyn entering the battlefield yet again. Mm -hmm. uh, tap in five. Shieldred. 
<laughs> Another one of the Hall of Fame of villains. So, each opponent sacrifice a non-token creature or planeswalker. On the stack. We can't be having this nonsense. My turn to Arcane Denial. Ah, uh, huh. Arcane Denial resolves. Children is countered. I will tap three pay and pay three life for a Painful Truths to draw three cards. I will amass one from that Arcane Denial. Tapping six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I will cast Breach the Multiverse. Each player mills 10 cards, then for each player I choose a creature or planeswalker in their graveyard and put onto the battlefield under my control. They're Phyrexian in addition to other types. All right, guys, mill 10. Oh boy. All right, let's show the options. Oh, there's an academy manufacturer over here. <laughs> I have a lot of options. You really do. Uh, all right, Ben, I'm gonna get your Feasting Troll King. Blake, I'm gonna get your Spell Seeker. Shay, I'm going to get Aomir, your brother. No. <laughs> brother. Yep, 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 yep. All right, and those are going to enter the battlefield under my control, so you can put those things back. Uh, from my graveyard, I chose Shildred <laughs> back on, again. Man. And that means each of you are going to sacrifice a non-token creature. In response, I'll sacrifice a treasure to sacrifice my food to gain three life. Okay. Back up to five. And Sam will die. Gandalf will die. Eowyn will die. Oh my gosh, poor Eowyn. <laughs> poor Eowyn. She's like, stop casting. <laughs> I will She's search dying. my library for a spell, that, an instant sorcery that costs two or less. I will fetch a demonic tutor. All right, I will move to combat. Blake, I don't know if you're gonna escape the Dark Lord this time. That is a 7-6 coming at you. Ben, the zombie army and Aomir are attacking you. I'll block the orc army with my shapeshifter. Okay. Uh, you do they... get a curse of verbosity as well. Yep, there's a curse of verbosity trigger and, and a curse a of opulence, opulence trigger. trigger. Yep, so that creates a gold token and I will draw. Then I will cease to exist. I will block the orc army and go to one. All right, your shapeshifter will die. Blake, take seven. I've got some, uh, I've got some good news for you though. The curse is lifted. Mm, finally. Oh, my. <laughs> Go on without me. Fly, you fools. All right, Ben, your turn. Okay. <sighs> Poor Ben. <laughs> he doesn't see what's about to happen. And? Oh. Untap, sorry. Yeah, keep untapping. Yep, and? Yeah, I'll, I'll draw for two. Yeah, you'll do yep. that. Yep. And? And that. It's not a bad Oh, choose <laughs> one or more. Oh, that sucks. Go all out. If you're gonna die, <laughs> go down with your shit, it's buddy. Not a, that's not a main? No. Wow, oh. I didn't know that. That's why it's lethal. I'm dead. <laughs> all right. Shay, recast. <laughs> you and me. Let's go. Okay, let's untap. All right, you can say one thing about me. It's that I'm very loyal to my commanders. That is true. I am paying 13 to cast <laughs> Aowen yet again. A mess works. <laughs> My turn? It's your turn. All right, well, I have an, a very appropriate card here that I think can end this game. I'm gonna cast Soul Shatter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Once more <laughs> to death for Aowen. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, evil always triumphs. Oh, look at this top deck. It's the Witch King. You're just what? in time to take oh, wow. her out and attack, including with your brother. Oh, wow. Brutal. So brutal. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm super dead. The Dark Lord triumphs. I can see why they didn't have this ending in the movies. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't feel shorter. good, right? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, that was epic, like a Lord of the Rings trilogy, an extended edition even. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, uh, let's go find our CoolStuffInc.com cards of the game. And we are back to talk about our CoolStuffInc.com cards of the game. I'll go first, my card of the game. Breach the multiverse, busted in standard, busted in commander, broke the game open, way too much fun to cast. That is a rare you should pick up. Ben. What's your card of the game? You know, I asked for it, and later I got it. Academy Manufacturer. Just making all them clues, treasures, and food. 
I wonder how it would have turned out if you hadn't been vandal blasted twice. The second time was worse because I had a card in my hand that said whenever I create or sack a um, token, you each lose one. Oh, the new card? <laughs> the yeah, yeah, yeah the dark something bats. Dark Pretty good. The, the bats. Yeah. Nasty. Blake. CoolSifting.com card of the game. Speaking of Vandal Blasts, my Vandal Blast, my first one just felt very efficient. I destroyed a bunch of stuff. It was like kind of the most relevant thing I did that game. It slowed down Ben's onslaught, at least a little. So that's my def my CoolSifting.com card of the game. And also, can you give me the ring back? Because after all, why shouldn't I keep it? Oh, that's... that's it's right but here, it's, it's, in my pocket. I've got it right. Give it back! I, I feel like I won the battle. The ring is mine. <laughs> he didn't make it after all. <laughs> <laughs> do I disappear? Do I, do I go invisible? Oh. I... CGB! Huh? We, we can get that in post, yeah. It it worked, they can't <laughs> see me. Uh, Shay! <laughs> I know you can't see me, but you can hear me. What is your CoolStuffInc.com card of the game? So weird, that voice is coming from nowhere. Uh, yeah, we've got Aon Shield Maiden. You know her, <laughs> you love her. I casted her how Five many times? times? Five times, Five yeah. Time. A bargain at any price, <laughs> including 13. Yeah. Including 13. Yeah, I just really love her ability of creating those humans and it works great for my play style, so yeah. Love her. Yeah, definitely set the new standard for ride or die with your commander on that <laughs> yeah. one. Absolutely. But I love the name Shaowen. It's like yeah. it puts it all together. <laughs> it's too good. All right, please remember to use the promo code WORST at checkout. Get yourself a discount and support the channel. This was awesome playing with the Lord of the Rings cards, something I've been so excited to do. It felt epic, like a Lord of the Rings movie. Thank you for watching this video and staying till the end because that alone is amazing and that is the best thing you can do to help the channel. Top it off, hit like hit subscribe and as always on behalf of myself and the crew <gasps> you're, you're cool, cool.